Investing more money to keep you safe. Cincinnati City Council announced a surplus of cash at the end of the fiscal year, and they're using some of that money to better pedestrian safety. It's been a hot topic recently. WCPO 9 anchor Brett Bugansky shows us how much and where it's going. $3.4 million. It's an ongoing investment to improve pedestrian safety in Cincinnati. This is on top of the nearly $6 million the city planned on investing this fiscal year. The city would like to add new signs, sidewalks, and curbs in the Bond Hill neighborhood. This is the same intersection where an eight-year-old boy got hit when he was crossing the street. And new street lights in the Coryville Business District. This is where two University of Cincinnati students got hit and one of them died. We've seen uh, the continued uh, aggressive driving and pedestrian uh, crashes. Councilmember Mark Jeffrey says it's a great start to address the evolving needs of the taxpayers and the landscape of Cincinnati. If City Council approves the money, Jeffrey said crews can start fixing things right away. We got very, very far behind on these projects because uh, there was not the political will in the past to do it. So now we've got to catch up very fast. Is it enough? Is it good? Uh, I, I think it's a, a start. Um, and, uh, you know, I would challenge them to find more. Uh, St. Louis's mayor is proposing 40 million of their surplus go to pedestrian safety. Matt Butler with the DeVue Good Foundation is gathering traffic data around the city of Cincinnati and will analyze just how fast people are going in certain problem areas, but feels the city has a long way to go to make streets safer. Brett Pagansky, WCPO 9 News.